Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Buhari has failed. He is power drunk. Northern Elder fumes and says about Buhari. Hello, everyone. This is the North. People from the North, Northern Elder saying Buhari has failed. He has failed Nigerians. He's power drunk. He does not want to leave the position or the place. Rather, he wants to continue to lead when he knows he has failed, you know, bloodlessly and he has failed the people. Anyway, my people, this is happening right now as we speak. Buhari has failed Nigerians. Let's get straight into the news and get all the details. This is someone from the North speaking and, you know, not just anybody, but the North speaking saying Buhari has failed. Buhari is more interested in power than governance. He's much more interested in power. Northern Elder Furon has said. The Northern Elder Forum has accused President Muhammad Buhari of being power drunk, saying that the president is not the current Messiah Nigerians won't hope for. Speaking in an interview on Tuesday, Hassan Baba Hamed, the director of publicity of the Forum, said the Nigerian leader is more interested in power than in governance. Baba Hassan said the Forum thought President Muhammad Buhari was going to come and save the country from insecurity, bad economy and poor leadership. But to their surprise, the president has not done anything different from good luck Jonathan's administration, if for nothing, even worse. He disclosed that it has become very clear that the administration of President Muhammad Buhari needs to appreciate governance with a sense of emergency. That's how they need to appreciate, appreciate to this to do things differently from the way it has been done before if they must make any meaningful impact. The NEF spokesman said the president has failed to tackle corruption, more desperately to deal with the B-boys insurgents for which he was elected. Baba Hassan also lamented the inability of the forum to have access to president and to give ideas or suggestions. He barricaded everyone from himself and surround himself with the very likes of mind who do not want Nigeria to move forward. Baba Hassan, however, said that the forum is not bothered by the childish comments by Femi Adeshino, Garu Bashiu, Olai Mohammed, which they continue to use to destroy and deceive the country. He said by their childish comment, Femi Adeshino, the presidential aide, described the NEF as a mere irrelevant to in government well my people this is exactly happening and it's happening right now where nigerian government and um, you know uh, elder forum of the north is saying that buhari has failed nigerians and that he, he he has nothing to offer to nigeria they actually thought he was once the messiah but right now they have seen clearly the picture is very clear that he was never the messiah they once thought he was that Buhari has actually failed the country, failed everybody, and has failed Nigerians especially. And Buhari was not the person they thought he was, that he would be, and he would be able to help Nigeria move forward. You know, the elder said, we thought, you know, in 2015, the North, we are, you know, part of the people who were in front, saying, yes, Buhari must come on board. He's got something to offer. Uh, good luck, Jonathan has failed. Well, my people, you have seen, everybody has seen that um, what's happening in this country is not a question of good luck, Jonathan. It's a question of what this country has started. It all started from the North himself, themselves, where, according to what we heard, you know, the three Northern governors came together, put the sum, a whopping sum of $100 million as at 1999 together to facilitate the B-Boys. They started it by saying they wanted to frustrate Olushe Gwabasanjo's administration because they felt he, he, he appointed uh, ministers, senators, and what have you 
from a particular religion and not uh, their own religion. And so they wanted, in a bit to frustrate, um, you know, his governance, they started that so that the nations and other world begin to hear that Nigeria is not safe, is not secure, all in a bit to frustrate democracy because at this time, Nigeria had just come into democracy by 1999. Where Olusegun Obasanjo was the first democratically elected president of the country. So in a bid to frustrate Olusegun Obasanjo's administration, they came up and they started this whole, you know, this whole menac you call uh, the Northern Insurgents today. And guess what? When these people began to find out and see that there is absolutely loop, ab absolutely loophole and there is nothing Nigerian government could do about it, they got on and they began to have their own their own uh, uh, you know array and uh, their own strategy and their own lines and begin to, to to do what they are doing right now in Nigeria. So much so that Nigerian government is out of control. Is it out of control or does not want to tackle it? Because if they wanted to tackle it, they would have put things seriously in place. What have they done? They made a system to say that if you catch any of them and they shout i have repented i have repented and bring them in after three or four months they should be paying them 150,000 naira per month in fact they brought them in with the with the with the with the uh with the president with the uh air force jet into the into the country you know even those from niji other republic into nigeria why there's an agenda you cannot use people and discard them like that somebody somewhere will talk so they have to compensate them so when you see that these things are happening like the going says all that glitters is not gold it is because you know there is somebody somewhere from the very top you know, who is part and parcel of this and does not want his track to be exposed. Hence, they will cover it neatly and try to do as much as they can for it not to be exposed. You think that everything that's going on in this country, they are not aware? Oh, yes, very much aware. So much so that they are allowing it to continue. Look at um, Chad Republic. Chad Republic dealt with the insurgents, with the B-boys from their, from their country. You cannot, you, I mean, the activities was reduced to zero. We could hear the B-boys uh, leader, Shakwa, com coming up to give this every week. Why? They bled them. But Nigerian government is petting them because they are using them. And guess what? If you use somebody and you want to discard the person, oh, the person is going to speak. And they don't want that. By the time everybody begins to speak, somebody somewhere will listen. Because everybody cannot be lying. This is part and parcel why Nigerian government is so scared and does not want to, you know, deal with them as they should to bring an end to this insurgency and the evil that is going on. Because somebody is benefiting from it and somebody has gone ahead to say, you know what, let us frustrate, you know, Buhari's administration. But my guys, see what? You, you think you are doing it gradually to get to their own children, you know, gradually to get to their own children. It will. You think you think just you no, know, it's not just a talk. It will get there because you don't write names of people on the people you carry or and gradually they themselves will feel the bonds of what they have set up in. Nigerians, listen, the government of today has a hand in what is going on. If not, it will not continue. I put it to you. If not, it will not continue. It's only thriving because somebody somewhere is benefiting. Don't forget to like or share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.